do chess players really earns a good amount of money? <laughs> It's a hard question. I, I I would say nowadays with the internet and how globally connected people are, uh, yeah, I think that they really do. Um, depending on what it is, I mean, so for example. In the U.S., remember what I was saying. I tried to yeah. take lessons from a GM, and they're asking for a hundred dollars per hour. So yeah. if they're making this much money in the year two thousand five, they they must have been making a pretty good deal. So um, you know, and again, you you factor in that the average person is making ten times less than that, you know, or just the average college student or whatever. So yeah, yeah I I think, but but here's the thing: you do have to work hard and be consistent. I mean, having. I mean, a lot of people don't want to do what my job is now. A lot of people don't want to be coaching 365 days a year, including, including December 25th and December 31st and January 1st. So I was giving a lesson to a student last year on um, December 31st, and I heard the the fireworks in the background. You know, everyone saying Happy New Year. He was in Singapore. I said, "What's that noise?" He said, "Oh, just you know, people in the streets. Uh, just ignore it." You know, so it's kind of like you just you just do it. I mean, the thing about being a chess player. You just do it every single day, every single day, and yeah. I've known a lot of people who just say, "No, nah, I don't want to do that. It's too much." But yeah. that's what I do. So if you can really do it every single day, it can be a really good job, really good. Yeah. But uh, you got to work hard. So I mean, like for example, I, I mean, I haven't done any made any YouTube videos in about four months or something. But yeah. if someone can really, I mean, do everything. You know, um, have some YouTube videos, publish a, a book or a couple books or some DVDs, and have an online presence in many places. Uh, they can have a lot of a lot of followers in chess. I mean, ten thousand, twenty thousand. I mean, across every single platform. I guess I have about thirty or thirty-five thousand people in total who can see things that I do across everything. Um, so it's a lot of people, and the, a lot of those people will want lessons. And so it's, I, I think it's, it's great if you work really hard, if you don't, because here's the thing, there are many people who don't, who just don't build up a following. And if they don't build it up, then how are people going to find them? Also, a big thing is people should have, if they're, if they want to coach, at least they should have a coaching pro profile everywhere. And yeah. so, you know, on, on live chess, on chess.com, on ICC, on maybe some other sites. And then there will be some people, um, We're just browsing through the internet, and they go, "Oh, okay, this looks interesting." And then maybe they tell some of their friends. I had a, a young kid who I was coaching, and uh, he told all of his friends to take lessons from me. So, you know, and and I know uh, I I knew some grandmasters who were in India, and they said, "Oh, well, uh, I worked at an academy, and the academy gave me tons of students." Yeah. So that can happen too. And so suddenly, this academy gives them 15 different students. So yeah. if that happens, sure. It, chess becomes a great career for those people, and I specifically heard from people who said, "Oh, well, I wanted to do uh, engineering or something else, but uh, I was making more money from chess, so I did chess instead." So, so I think chess can be good, but you have to make use of all your resources, just like in a chess game. You have to use all your tools available and use all your pieces. <laughs> yeah, use all your pieces. Be the best way to describe.